Okay, welcome. Thank you for joining me. I'm TT. And I am here with your daily message of love, encouragement, and support from your angels, gods, all the higher ups in the spiritual realm. Yeah. So let's see what we got today. I got a few decks I'm going to be pulling from. I'm going to start with the messages from the mermaids. Thank you, God. Thank you, angels. Thank you, spirit gods. Thank you, ascended masters. Thank you, archangels. Thank you, spirit animals. Thank you for delivering a message that's right on time for us today for our highest good. Thank you that I'm able to interpret the message clearly, God. Thank you for it being just what we needed today to keep us in route on our highest path. Thank you. hope y'all feeling amazing today i hope you if even if you don't feel amazing just know that better days is on the way uh hold space for yourself let yourself feel how you're gonna feel explore those emotions and try to figure out where they coming from so that you can understand the healing that you need for yourself and don't feel bad about how you feel because however you feel, you are, you are, you can feel like, it's okay for you to feel like that. It's okay for you to feel however you feel. For a long time, I would hide my emotions and push them down and not make space for myself to, to, to feel how I felt. And that don't do nothing but make you sick and unable to heal. Pretending you okay all the time is fucking psycho. And it's self-harm. And it's not loving yourself. So I want y'all to love yourself. Y'all deserve the best. Thank you, God, for this message today. Inner knowing. The card for today is inner knowing. So what I feel from this card is all the answers you've been seeking, the the the, the choices you see right now. Okay, I'm about to get tongue tied. Lord, I send whatever nervous energy back. Lord, give me give me the clarity to give the message from this card. Let my words be your words. Let them be clear. Let them be easy to understand. Let them resonate. Thank you, God. So what I'm feeling from this card is there's a lot of indecisiveness going on right now because we are in a we are in a season of change. And the choices that we are making for ourselves, we like not sure if this is really what we are supposed to be doing or like called to do on our path. But I want you to know with this inner knowing card, it's, I'm feeling that the decisions that you're making is absolutely what you're supposed to make. Yes, they may be absurd. You may, you may even have people right now trying to convince you that what's your inner self the inner knowing you have, you have people outside of you trying to convince you like, no, don't do it this way. Do it that way. But I'm going to tell you now, can't nobody tell you what's best for your path. You have everything you know inside is telling you right now that the decisions and choices you're making, you have to go about them what's best for you. You have to go about those uh executing these plans and changes the the way only you can know how to do it because uh those people in your ear and around you that don't understand they didn't walk your path they haven't been where you've been they don't know how you feel in the inside so i just want to encourage you to listen to 
your higher self listen listen to your spirit listen to god you feel me because the answers are within and we know them and don't get distracted by outside noise don't get distracted by outside noise because these changes are going to cause such a miraculous happenings in the world expect people to freaking try to confuse you they may not even be doing it intentionally it may just be a test you feel me to see if you really ready for the call on your life and i'm telling you you are because i pray over you that the your inner voice is so loud god thank you for letting our inner voice be so loud it, it overpowers all the noise outside of us thank you for our <clears throat> inner voice and the conviction of what our intuition and higher self speak to us god that anything outside of your plan for our life god that uh it's null it's not valid god because it, it don't make us feel right if we try to do the right the wrong thing if we try to do the wrong thing opposite against your will that of the and the choice that you've made on our excuse me the choice that we've made, God, the choice that we made that aligns with our higher self, higher purpose in the world, God. If we try to do anything outside of that, God, let it be so uncomfortable that we can't even take it no more. And we have to go the right path. So that's what I'm seeing with this inner knowing card. And I'm going to read what is in the book. This is actually my first time seeing this inner knowing card come out of this deck. And I've been having this deck for a minute. So thank you, God, for giving us the word we needed today. Thank you, God. Inner knowing. This is the moment to trust your inner knowing. The stage of doubting is over, and it's time to believe in yourself. This mermaid has the look of inner knowing. She And she's swimming into your reading today to affirm that you have access to this inner knowing too. It's about believing in yourself and trusting your intuition, which is a powerful tool in life. When you believe in this inner knowing, you'll see stagnant areas of your life begin to flow as you trust your ability to know things. Are you always doubting your intuition? Perhaps you're in denial about something and that deep down you know to be true. Allow yourself the freedom to trust this in it instinct, also known as your gut feeling. Thank you. Acting on your inner knowing is the correct course of action. Sometimes it might not make sense on a rational level, yet deep inside, at the core of your being, you know that you're correct. This isn't arrogance. It's having confidence in your ability to trust yourself. When this card appears in a reading, it means that you already know what to do. Perhaps you feel fear or trepidation to act on this instinct. The more you learn to trust this aspect of yourself, the easier following your inner guidance will become. There could be someone around you who's trying to convince you to doubt your own instincts. If this is the case, always remember to tune in before following the advice of anyone else. What's right for one person may not be right for other. Different strokes for different folks. So this absolutely aligns with what I was saying before I read the definition. Like right now, you might be having a double mind frame. You feel me? But, but your inner knowing is shouting to you that this is the right thing to do for you. You may have people around you that's trying to cloud your judgment. And like I said, these people may not be intentionally trying to cloud your judgment. And they might. But that don't even matter because like I said sometimes that's a test to see if you're ready for what God has for you and you have to absolutely listen to what your inner knowing is telling you in this time the time of indecision the time of going back and forth the time of seeking counsel outside of you is dead that shit's dead because you already know and you've been knowing so that's what that says to me and I'm gonna move to the next message thank you God for that message today hi Q 
<sighs> Thank you, God, for that message. Definitely on time. So I'm going to go to the answer is simple oracle cards. Thank you, God. Thank you, angels. Thank you, spirit, God. Thank you, ascended masters. Thank you, higher self. Thank you, spirit animals. Thank you for giving us the message that we need today. Thank you that it's clear. Thank you that I'm able to interpret it clearly, God. Thank you for it being received. For whoever it's intended to. Thank you, God. So this, oh, this is so synchronistic with the message that I just had. And it is create. Number 24 on the card, create. It's time. Like, we have to get out there indecisive. It's time to bust a move. All the ideas you have, you might got multiple ideas of, to create to create shit. Let, let it flow. Even if it's down to, like, creating content for your uh, YouTube, uh, create whatever kind of creative business, dance, sing, paint. It's all kind of ways to express creativity. But for this card right now, I'm feeling more of create what you're called to do. Because that's where the end of, like right now we in a year of the change. Everybody is finding what they're called here to do in the earth. It's, it's being bestowed upon us. That insight, you feel me? So whatever that, you might be wanting to be a counselor, a teacher. You might be wanting to be a coach for a basketball team. And you just keep trying to talk yourself out of it. I'm feeling that. People are feeling like they don't have the resources. And people are feeling like uh, they don't have uh, enough information on the field they looking into but um like I like to encourage people and tell people when you call to do a certain thing when, when yes yeah, okay to research yes research yes further your education but when you are called to do something in the earth you just have a natural tact for that you feel me uh the the information you think you might learn from these systems yeah it, it will wake things up in you but that's already in you so don't let nothing hold you back don't let no lack of resources hold you back we gotta work with what we got we gotta work with we not gonna have everything to to accomplish what we need to do that's gonna come to us the more we walk into our calling the more we walk in it all the resources is gonna show up all the people is gonna show up god just wants you to leap create create Because the world needs it more than ever right now. More than ever. That's why it's so strong. That's why it's so strong on us and overwhelming and got us in our feelings and back and forth in our head. Because what we're going to create is going to make the world such an impact in this world. And and, and, the, and the distractions and stuff is coming. And we just got to get out that, one, that double that double-edged mind we we gotta get out of that like two of swords energy okay so let me oh what did i say the number was 24 okay let me see what this means because this is also a message too thank y'all for tapping in with me thank you god for this message that we need all on time. Thank you for it being our push. Thank you for it being our confirmation. Where is this at? Okay. Okay. 153 is a sacred, powerful energy. That's crazy. I use this app all the time, Angel Number app, and I've never seen a message this short. <laughs> I've never seen a message this short. So you, what this message is telling me that everything I said is in alignment and it's sacred information and it's, and it's just the insight that you need, that we all need. So that's what that's telling me as I open the app up. Number 24 means angel number 24 is a message from your angels to continue on your present path with passion. 
and enthusiasm. Believe in yourself and your inner talents and abilities in order to find success and achieve your desires and aspirations. Trust that achieving your, your goals is within your sight. Thank you, God. Y'all, thank you, God. Did y'all know this? Woo, I, all the times I open this app, I'll never see this message, man. Ow, pow. Come through, God. Be yourself. Do what you love. Do what you passionate about. Figure out how to put all that together, and that's your calling. That's your calling. Just being your authentic self, doing what you love, doing it with love, with the intentions of making the world a better place, not for money, not for fame, not for a new house and car, none of that shit, but because it's in you and you love doing it and, you be, and you're yourself while you do it and God is going to do the rest. That's it. That was a dope message, number 24, come through. Okay, let me see what number six means. Yes, angel number six brings a message from the angels to keep a balance between your material goals and aspirations and your spiritual inner self. Respect yourself and others by taking responsibility for your own life and be honest and fair in all your dealings. Be grateful for what you have already as an attitude of gratitude encourages future positive abundance into your life. When the angel number six appears, it tells of the ability to use your intellect to bring about positive outcomes in your life. Be open to angelic signs and signals. Maintain a positive attitude and trust that opportunities will present themselves that w that will allow you to meet your material and financial needs. Trust that all will be provided as you take care and serve yourself and others as you pursue your divine life purpose and soul mission. Ain't God good? Ain't God good, y'all? For real, for real. Tell me all those messages didn't go together. I'm so grateful for this message today. Thank you, God, as it brings encouragement to my heart, God, as it brings reassurance to my heart, God, as it boosts my confidence in what I'm called to do, God, as it helps me no longer have an indecisive mind because I already, we already know what time it is and we busting moves around here. We taking care of self and we busting moves. So thank you God for that. Thank you that as we move about life and be our, our, our mm, as we move about life, God, and we be our authentic self always confidently, God, that we are doing what we're called to do. As we do as we live out our passions, we create our passions, we put it out here into the world, show people, share it with the world, God, that it helps heal the world in every way. It heals all connected to us. It heals everybody that's viewing us. Everybody, God. Thank you. I love it. I love it, y'all. <sighs> Yeah, so I'm going to end this video right here for my YouTube channel. Again, thank you so much for taking your time out to watch this message. If this mes message resonates with you, um, please like, uh, comment, subscribe, all that good lovey-dovey stuff as you show me love like that. It's just like encouraging for me to keep doing what I do. Share this message with anybody that you think may need this message. Um, I have sessions available for intuitive tarot, intuitive coaching, aromatherapy, and sound healing available for as low as $15 and 15 minutes. So even if you need a question asked and I've never read you, be sure to hit my inbox for your first free read. I got you. I love you. Everything is falling in place, man. Relax. That's all we need to focus on right now is relaxing and producing. That's all we got to focus on. Relaxing and creating. You feel me? And putting it out there and not sitting on that shit. You feel me? And everything else is falling in place. Thank you, God. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Sully. YouTube, I hope you have an amazing day. Um, be sure to check me out on Instagram at spiritual tt. Um, if you need to read, book me at spiritual tt at gmail.com. Yes, tt on the beat. I love y'all. Peace, deuces, love. Life, righteousness, all that good shit. I speak over you.